Hello everyone, good morning. Uh, just wanted to give the final update on this little guy. This is Pantherophis guttatus, the red rat snake or corn snake. And this little fella, let's see if I can get you, give you an idea of some scale. There you go. My hand versus the snake. Hello, snickles. Um, anyway, found this little guy. I was walking last night and found this little guy heading across the sidewalk toward a very, very busy road. So I decided to gather him up and keep him safe, him or her, who knows. Um, but anyway, decided to uh, bundle him up, keep him safe overnight. And now this morning, I'm going to release him in a local park, which features tons of nice thick cover, which will be helpful for a snake this size to stay out of sight of predators. And uh, I'm sure there's about uh, a billion and one lizards in these woods, so he should have more than adequate food supply. And uh, so, yeah, we'll see how everything goes. But uh, there's a little close-up of Sneckles. And he's just chilling. He was a little wiggly last night when I caught him, but this morning it's like he doesn't even want to leave. You got used to the AC, didn't you? <laughs> now, um, so let's see, what about this particular specimen? Um, this one is, uh, looks like it favors the gray phase. You can see, like, right, where are you, where are you, finger? There we go. Right there, you can see little flecks of orange besides the, the actual spots. You can see little flecks of orange in the scales. But this one is mostly gray between the uh, brick red uh, saddles on the back and uh, and like most of them, he does get more orange toward the front. But uh, the last one of these that I caught was about three times this size, probably a year and a half, two years old. This guy's only a few months old, I would expect. He hatched out of an egg a few months ago. He or she, again, sorry. I'm just going to... Use the generic he, I guess, or she, or it. I don't like to call him it. Anyway, uh, what else to say about these? Adult size, five to six feet. Um, at this size, they'll be feeding on large insects, lizards, amphibians. And, of course, as they get older, they'll feed on rodents, mice, and rats. That's their name. Um, these guys are actually excellent climbers. I have found them half, or I've seen them... Uh, halfway up the trunks of, for instance, palm trees, which are, you know, not easily, easy to climb at all. They've got, uh, they've got, they don't have the rough surface that uh, one of your deciduous or, you know, like an oak tree might. Um, so, but these guys go up, no problem. And uh, when they are up there, they will hunt for baby birds or uh, baby squirrels. So, and uh, squirrels hate them. So that's another good thing about this part of the park is I've never seen a squirrel out here. They're all concentrated in another part of the park. Um, so anyway, it looks like he has decided to go on his own way, so I'll probably wrap this up. But anyway, just wanted to give you all a quick uh, overview on this species. And uh, yeah, that's about it. As you can see... Uh, these, this species is actually very, very commonly available in the trade. You can get captive bred babies easily. And at this point, they've bred about, you know, I have no idea how many specialized morphs. But, uh, hey, relax, man. That wasn't a bite, by the way. He jerked his head back, but he didn't open his mouth or try to bite me. Um, anyway, I'm going to uh, sign off now. Just wanted to give you all a closer look. And uh, now you know. These guys pose you absolutely no threat. <laughs> Some of them are natural little stars, and uh, they're very, very, very tractable and docile. So if you are looking to maybe start keeping snakes, a red rat, is, you really can't go wrong. They're hardy. They're long-lived. Um, their appetites are, are great. They'll readily feed, typically in captivity. I've never heard of anybody really having a problem getting one to feed. Um, they're very docile. This guy, if I can, 
might be able to might be able to boop his snoot. The last one that I caught let me boop him on the snoot less than five minutes after I picked it up. So they are very, very docile. And they do adjust well to captivity. Um, I'm just not into keeping wild animals in captivity anymore. But I very much do enjoy them in the wild. And, uh, yeah, so, like with any animal uh, that you're any wild animal that you're going to keep. You just want to speak softly, move slowly, uh, establish that trust. Boop. Come on. Boop. Nope, won't do it. He's, he's, he's going away. Anyway, all right, folks. Have a good day. Talk to you soon.